You did flutter away for how many years? So I did it for about, let's just say three years. Because I, I came in in 2016. I'd worked a little bit part-time with them. Yeah. Came in What's the part? But you're one of the co you're a co-founder. When did you co-founder? I was a, I was a co I was a co-founder. Yeah. So what I knew was well. So you know, at first, Binga Agbola, who's the current CEO, yes. and um, Adil Adeleke Ad, uh, Adekoya, uh, they they had conceived something of the idea, ah, right? Nice, 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 right? And they had brought it to me and said, okay, how nice. do we go about this nice. in the tech world? And I nice. was like, okay, look, guys, this is how it really works in the tech world based mm. on based on the experience that I've had so far. So you know they. So I get you know, that. So, that, right. that, so right. we, I started working with them. Right. It became very apparent that there was a need for somebody to kind of take on the reins. Right. I put in my money. Yeah. Um, I became CEO. Then I kind of helped okay. them grow. And yeah. then, so the living, there wasn't any drama. Same. With, I mean, the, the reality of all these things is that you wouldn't leave if there wasn't something, something. right? <laughs> I like but that. the thing is, you see, at, by the time I'd done the first time, yeah. I knew the, 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 there was a playbook, right? So it's yeah. very simple. It's like, yeah. live on a high, yeah. make sure you hand over to the rightful founders. Yeah. There's like, there's a bunch of lists, like principles yeah. for leaving that yeah. you've now mastered. Yeah. And to be honest, after the first time, you're waiting for it. Right. Because right. the reality of, of building startups is that two things, right? One is, well, one, I'm not an ideas guy, as you can see. Right. <laughs> as, unlike most people believe, I'm yeah. not really the guy who yeah, comes up with ideas. people believe that you're an ideas guy. I just take execution risk right, right, where right. no one else will. Right. <laughs> you yeah. understand what I'm saying? Right. Um, take execution risk where no one else will. Yeah, even That's the true. founders would not take the execution risk. As you noticed, they you. were all at their jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I came, I was like, okay, I'm the, I'm the living scapegoat. <laughs> let's so do this. Come, let's do this. Yeah. Hey, if the coconut breaks, it breaks on my head. It's cool. Yeah. No problem. So that's that was my, that's my own claim to fame with this company. So I'm yeah. willing to take execution risk where nobody else is willing to take execution risk, um, and that's what I'm good at. Right? Mm. I can take execution risk and take a company from zero mm. to one, mm. and then hand it back to the owners and go. Um, so I, by that time, my my mindset was clear. I was waiting. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you know, I mean, for me, it, it happened sooner than we all hoped, but it was always going to happen. Um, and I think it was the best thing. Right. If you're the founder of a business yeah. and this guy who you told about the business and rightfully helped you is now telling you what to do, mm. there's bound to be some, some negative energy, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> right? And, and that's really kind of what happened, what right? Happened? It was, so once I sensed the negative energy, I was just like, look, man, there's no need for us to do this because I've mm. been waiting for you to get here from day one. Mm. Here's mm. the crown. Mm. Goodbye. <laughs>